famous basketball player, Jackie Robinson? Well, no. I'm actually the first African-American baseball player to break the color barrier. I broke it back in 1947 on the Brooklyn Dodgers. Who are you? Oh, really? Well, that's cool. I did that too in tennis. I am Arthur Ashe. I was born and raised in Virginia. I was the first African-American to win the U.S. Open in 1968. You're not the only one that was famous. I understand that, but did you have a 342 batting average, which was the highest in the world of your time? Well, we don't have batting averages in tennis, but I was ranked number one in the world, which is the highest rank. Oh, that's cool. So do you want a medal for that? I actually already received one from President Bill Clinton in 1993 for the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Also, I met President Reagan. Bill Clinton? Oh, he was the president that honored my career achievements in 1997. It was also on my 50th anniversary. I forgot to mention, I won three Grand Slam titles. What about them? I was the first African-American selected to the United States Davis Cup team and was the only African-American to win the singles at Wimbledon, the U.S. Open, and the Australian Open. That's great, but you can't forget that I played over 10 seasons and participated in six World, World Series and contributed, contributed to the Dodgers' 1955 World Championship. Oh yeah, well in 1965 I won the National Collegiate Athletic Association single titles and contributed to the UCLA's winning the team NACC Tennis Championship. I was selected for six consecutive All-Star Games from 1949 to 1954. I was the recipient of the inaugural MLB Rookie of the Year Award in 1947. I won the National League Most Valuable Player Award in 1949 being the first African-American player to be honored. We all have different ways of people remembering us, but I am still the only black man to win the singles title at Wimbledon, the U.S. Open, or the Australian Open. I was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962. In 1997, MLB made it impossible for another player to get the number 42, and I was the first pro athlete in any sport to be honored. In Jack Kramer's 1979 autobiography, he ranked me as one of the 21 best players of all time. I think I topped that by having my own day. What do you mean by that? Well, on April 15, 2004, MLB has adopted a new annual to 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 <laughs> Jackie Robinson Day. On this day, every player on all teams wear, wear the number 42. Either way, I think we both left a great impression on the world. We should both be proud of what we have accomplished. For all we know, it might still be all white players if it was not for us. We should both... Oh. You know... We should both be proud of what we have accomplished. That's for sure, but these accomplishments did not come easy. No, they did not. I do not know what was harder, being segregated for so long or being insulted when my baseball team became integrated. It was very hard to hear my own teammates judge me by my color of, this, of my skin and the opposing team tried to injure me. Yes, I hear you. I grew up in a segregated South where I was not able to share anything with white people. I also was unwelcome when I played integrated tournaments. You really had to believe in yourself and not what was going on around you. Very nice.